right. Tonight's question, next question actually, is from Mary Ellen. And the question is, I know we don't live in our physical bodies forever. I was wondering how death occurs. Is it a manifestation of the person that passes and its contrast in our life? Or do we too have to manifest it? especially in regards to our parents and direct family. Look forward to hearing your answer. Okay. All right. Haven't talked about this subject for a very long time. And it's very relevant, isn't it? Because we're all heading towards it. As Abraham describes it, all death is suicide. And <clears throat> it is always by choice. So let's talk about it because there are different ways or ways of looking at it. So there are different perspectives and there are different situations where the croaking phenomena, as Abraham calls it, happens in different ways. So the biggest thing that I've noticed is that people make their transition when they have nothing to look forward to in life. Contrast is not, is there, contrast is there, but they are not feeling it in a way that helps them give birth to desire. So even though they look at the contrast, but it doesn't create the desire for something different inside them. And so that basically means that they're listless or uh, life is passing them by. And you can see that when you see the glimmer in the eyes diminishing. So what happens with those people who no longer have a zest for life? They don't wake up and jump out of bed and want to go do things and live life. Is It's almost like being bored. That's it, I've had enough of this. So I would say it's like watching a movie and it's a never ending movie and in the end you get so sick of it, you just want it to be over. So you just sit there waiting for the movie to end. And the reason you wait for the movie to end is because you're watching this movie with other family members, people that you love and care about. And so, you don't want to leave them. You want to stay for their sake because you feel that their enjoyment of their movie is going to be diminished if you leave the party. So you hang around there waiting for them to finish their movie as well. And sometimes that wait is just too long. And sometimes you know how it is when you're watching that movie that you're bored with and you're sitting there with your spouse or your children or whoever. And in the end, you just get so tired that you say, you know what, guys, I'm just going up to bed. Why don't you finish up on your own? And so after waiting for a while, they do leave. They do croak. And that is the case that happens with a lot of people who are in nursing homes, who have uh, things like Alzheimer's or dementia going on that Alzheimer's or dementia is what cuts them off from feeling the contrast in the world. But they hang around because they don't want to spoil the movie for everyone else. So I've seen uh, that happen a lot. And in fact, that is what happened with my mother until I had a conversation with her in my head, in my heart, to tell her that we were going to be okay if she should decide that she it was time for her to, to make her transition. And just a few days after I had that conversation, five days to be exact, after I had that conversation with her, she was gone. So, so that's the thing. They want to go, but they don't want to go. They want to go, but they don't want to go. So every time death is um, a way to end the movie. 
it is never a manifestation based on the beliefs that you have held during life because even if you have been the most negative person ever to be born and live on this earth it doesn't mean that your life has to end you could go on living forever but it's just the fun of the new the fun of the new in the end this movie becomes boring and then there are those people who die young they don't live long lives that become boring but these are people who accomplish a lot in a very short time they come into this world and they accomplish so much at a very early age and and they're done with it that's it they're done they want to do more they have created what they wanted to create in this world they have milked the joy that they wanted and so they make their transition and then third number 3 are those people who come are born into this world with pre-birth contracts with other people other people who came with them their soul family and and so part of the contract is i am going to find a way to leave really early because that is going to create so much contrast for you it's really going to shake the boat for you and what fun you're going to have so that's another reason and lastly because we always have choice when we come into this world we always 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 have choice when we come into this world sometimes a powerful being powerful consciousness comes into this world and changes their mind they take a look around at the family they're born in the circumstances and whatever and they say mm, i think i'm going to sit this round out i don't think i want to play this time and so they leave they make their transition and then the very last are those people who have experienced a lot of struggle and contrast in their lives you sometimes you are not aware of the contrast that they are feeling because it's internal it's emotional and these people then will make the decision make the conscious decision that the pain of living is way too much and the thought of transitioning actually feels like a relief it feels so much better i just can't take this life anymore it's so painful and a lot of times those are the people who end up committing suicide they take that root into the non physical and sometimes that suicide can also be part of the contract but if a soul decides that the struggle is way too much its inner being will withdraw consciousness because here's the thing to understand is that struggling and being in pain was never the idea for being born it is never ever has been the reason for life for living life life is supposed to be fun and when life reaches a point where it is excruciatingly painful your inner being will withdraw consciousness from that physical body in order to start again and the very last thing i want to say is that it is always a choice and when people talk about their near death experiences they explain <coughs> invariably that they were given the choice to complete the transition or go back and sometimes those people who come back and tell us those stories they are ones who chose to come back so even at that last moment there is a choice to keep going or to return so in all cases in all situations 
every time, whether it's a baby, newborn baby, a young child, a young adult, someone who is in the, at the peak of their lives, someone who is in their decline, it doesn't matter how old, what stage of life, it is every time a choice. It is every time a decision. So it is never a, a result of, it's never a manifestation. It is always a decision. Okay, so I hope that that answers your question. So when I say that it is never a manifestation, what I mean is when you're low down on the emotional scale and that vibration brings you a negative event, death is not like that. Sure, the decision for making your transition, you make that decision or your inner being makes that decision at some level and sometimes the execution of that decision happens from a negative place. In fact, uh, not always. It doesn't always ha have to happen in a negative way. But for some people, it does. I totally believe in what Abraham says, that the best way to live and die is happy, healthy, happy, healthy, happy, healthy, dead. So... All right, that's it. That's all I have to say on that subject. I hope that that was useful and gave you some useful perspective. Take care, have fun, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.